Markus. Welcome to the celebration of the Weekly Lore Podcast. My name is Father Peter O'Donohue. Uh, the Weekly Lore Podcast ministry is made possible through the generous contributions of our mass sponsors who leave positive reviews on iTunes, and in a special way, our Patreon donors. And also with you. The lore, however, is offered for all of those in the weekly iTunes community, especially those looking for a deeper awareness of lore in their games. This day, I'm joined by Bishops Miller and Palmer. I'm a bishop. Yeah, I was excited. I thought I was going to be an altar boy. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. I'm in my hands on your thigh. I'm Bishop Ethan. I'm Bishop Miller. I almost said Bishop James, but I guess you go by the last name. Just remember, all lore comes from the Lord. It does. Amen. Lord. Lord. Uh, the <laughs> latter of which just prison. finished his pilgrimage to Central America, where I hope you made some very large spiders into Christians. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Very good. Nice. Uh, They're good people. to all our good listeners. Good eight-legged people. <laughs> our thanks to all our listeners for the gift of this podcast uh we unite ourselves in lore with the sign that makes us one in the name of the writer and the fans and the holy wiki amen dab brother indie games be brother <laughs> amen brother amen brother <laughs> my friends as we continue our journey through the season of lent which it actually is which is why i'm doing this episode we know that it's, lent, it's currently brother. lent i was in a i went to a church in nicaragua for ash wednesday Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Whoa, Ash Wednesday? Mm -hmm. There was two volcanoes Gotta there. Gotta catch them all, my dude. Oh, my yeah. gosh. <laughs> the bishop spins his hat around backwards. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Looks exactly the fucking yeah, same. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I choose you. <laughs> Throws a lime at you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a wild um, Lucifer appears. Yeah. <laughs> I almost went to Mass today as research for this episode. Where's Mass today? Uh, St. Monica's on Cavendish. Okay. Or close to Cavendish in Montreal. Okay. Um, however, I had to go pick up my new baby axolotl. Uh, and Priorities, that took, man. That took precedent. Priorities. Exactly. I, but, although, you bought that axolotl to help him heal. Jesus healed lepers. I specifically bought the most crippled one in the tank. Yeah. That, that axolotl is like missing a gill and an arm. It's basically a leper. He's missing an arm and two gills. Is Peter Chazes? I am. <laughs> Chaz. <laughs> what? What? Did I, did I say that wrong? Did I... <laughs> Did I you said it like it's a part of a car, or like a chassis. A chassis. A chassis. A chassis. So during this season of Lent, Jassy Christ. <laughs> Jassy Christ. The we'll... sturdiest part of the car. <laughs> <laughs> Let us acknowledge our need for tight as fuck Metroidvanias. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. I love. I I've, I've okay. spent two days playing Hollow Knight. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Uh, as soon as I got back, that's all I've done. Since I got back. <laughs> nice. I started Ori last week. Too. Oh, Ori yeah, in the Blind go. Forest is so yeah. fucking good. Dude. I almost cried. It like it starts off so sad. It's sad as shit. Yeah. yeah. That game's absolutely incredible. Oh, it's very good. It's, it's on it, the Game Pass. Okay, everyone who hasn't got the Microsoft like Xbox Game Pass and for has PC a computer, specifically. Yeah. You're a dingus. Just go get it. It's two dollars. I'll go do it. Two Canadian. Stop calling me a dingus. Two Canadian dollars. Two Canadian dollars. That's like one real dollar. Yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah, no, it's, there's so many good games. Outer Worlds, uh, Sea of Thieves, like a bunch of like, Fable 1, 2, and 3. Like, there's, oh, shit. There, there's so many games. Like, I, I have more than I could ever want to play, and I only have to pay $2 for it. I just bought Ken Follett's uh, Pillars of the Earth. Oh, that looks fantastic. For $8. Yeah. Didn't it's, someone. It's $40 normally, and it was on sale like 96% off. I was in the airport. Yeah. I was like, yeah, I'll buy it from here. Oh, or, yeah. I was in the hostel actually my last night in Nicaragua, and it was I was like, You're uh, in hospital? Hey, "What happened?" Hostel. Oh, oh hostel. I also heard sorry, hospital. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, maybe I'm. Uh, Jesus, pretty it, sure you said hospital. Oh, I can't yeah, say. Well, I was on vacation, so you know we don't talk too much on vacation. That's right. Oh uh, yeah. Not used to it. I just said Jesus is like an oh no, but I guess I can't do that this episode, right? Jesus. Jazz. Jazz. <laughs> Jazz. <laughs> uh, so anyway, Blasphemous. Uh -huh. It's a game that we've mentioned. We, it's some, it, blaspheming is something we've already done this episode. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and shall continue doing. Yep. Uh, we are sinners, us all. I have oh, a copy sinners. of it on me, actually. I have my yeah. Switch with me, and it's a very good game. I Jamie started it, and then got me... He wet my whistle peaked his for, for Blasphemous, and then I grabbed it on Steam because it went on sale shortly thereafter, and I beat it. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to do not just Blasphemous, but also a little bit of Catholicism, specifically in Spain. 
Okay. Yes, I just yeah. wanted, like, if there are any, like, Catholics or religious folks out there, I'm sorry if I misstep here because I am honestly very uh, religious illiterate. I don't know how this to say This is kind of funny. Reliterate. Reliterate. Reliterate, yeah. <laughs> yeah okay. This is yeah. the... First time, I think, like, it's a little bit of a raunchy cast every once in a while. Mm -hmm. Ethan's back, so it might be doubly raunchy to make up for the lack of raunch in the mm -hmm. past couple. It smells raunchy. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sure, yeah. Um, I, have, I didn't wash. Yeah, this would be the I refuse to use their first time I ever issued anybody a content warning for the lore boys. <laughs> uh, I am completely agnostic. Yeah. Only because I don't know what's going to happen when I die. I don't believe in anything. If we say something horrible, <laughs> I'm sorry in advance. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, Anything we say, we're like we're saying in good spirit. I yeah, we're not I, trying to pick on Catholics. No. They're just the subject of this game or whatever. Yeah. If it was a game about Hinduism or Zoroastrianism or whatever, I'm sure we'd be making just as much fun. Of yeah. it. Yes, of course. That's what we do naturally. Or, or lore oh, Lorefarians or whoever. People. Yeah, Lorestafarians. Lore <laughs> <laughs> I'm, lo I'm, I'm, I'm a Lorestafarian. Yeah. 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 It's a belief in. Dumb make believe shit. Yes. <laughs> yeah. 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 So here's a good so example. So very different. From, very different from religion, I guess. <laughs> yeah, sorry. And way different from video games. <laughs> so uh, Blasphemous was sent to us during a time where all we could compare anything to with corpse runs to Dark Souls, uh, mm -hmm. despite corpse runs existing for years in little known games like World of Warcraft, which uh, we promise we. Have never and will never cover on this podcast. Yeah, no, <laughs> heavens no. Yeah. Oh game? my gosh! Yeah, to update the listeners, there's a merger going on right now, dude. My my plate is full. Yeah, there's yeah. a lot going on. Yeah, and... I need a break from the world of work. Oh my god! Yeah. Yeah. I cannot wait to just go to fucking work. Dude, yeah. just to get just to get yeah. away from it all. <laughs> do, do wild guild officers get to take vacations? How many vacation days do you get a year? I missed my first raid this week. Oh actually. Yeah? yeah, is that a vacation technically? I was not happy with the merger, and I took some time off. <laughs> Yeah. Damn! Yeah, Ooh. I, I, I was staying. Things are heating up in DVD. Yeah. It's DVD, right? DVD, mm -hmm. Death Before Dishonor. I, I stood in solidarity with another guy who left on it, and who I really appreciate. And yeah. these Slash are Neil. real relationships. So I would go visit like so many yeah, of these yeah. people and like stay at their house and feel completely comfortable. Would you hold their hand in public? I would. Oh, yeah, nice. I'd kiss them. On it's the people mouth. you spend like <laughs> ask, them to, ask them to show me their feet. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Five you just like get to their house. You take off your shoes. You take off your socks like right away. Yeah. Just <laughs> Throw your socks in the trash. Yeah. Like, I don't need them. Don't it's need like the weirdest dynamic, though, because you spend like hours and hours and hours talking to them, and you usually don't even see them. So eventually, when they add Just you on feet, Facebook right? or whatever, like it's like a podcast. You guys, a lot of you probably don't know what we look like, but I'm the fat one. Look at each other. It's Otter Twink, Otter Twink, and the Bear. We've always Otter we've Twink, always Otter said. Twink, yes. and the Bear would yeah. be our def definitely our. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's our radio DJ name. Our, yeah. our disc jockey name. That's right. Uh, Jesus Christ, Jamie. This isn't a World of Warcraft episode. We're talking about Jazz's Christ. You can't say it once and expect me to let that go by. Right? <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so today, uh, as you probably expect, we'll be covering the 2D action game Blasphemous. Uh, it's Holy Miracle and also huge helpings of Lore Boys canon as I make tenuous links between uh, Blasphemous's lore and real world catholic canon mm -hmm. so i'm making some of my own connections here i did a lot of research this one took a long time but was probably some of my most fun research to do mm -hmm. because i had the blasphemous wiki and then actual Wikis. internet tabs open yeah. looking up names and places and naming conventions and all that shit just to find like where things could be connected the did game you guys know there's a sect of christianity called catholic <laughs> <laughs> i think it's like you're addicted to cath yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, when you click the, when you click the little pronounce this thing, the little pronounce word yeah, yeah. thing on Wikipedia, uh, it just goes Catholic. I'm a Catholic. <laughs> uh, my wife's named uh, Catherine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not Catholic, but I am a Cathyholic. <laughs> that is uh, Bob the, pass a potato salad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was gonna say that is the most suburban thing I have ever yeah. heard. <laughs> that 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 is an above ground pool joke. <laughs> yeah. It's <laughs> like, not yeah. even a good one. Yeah, well, there's no real depth to it. Right? No, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, with uh, so I'm glad you're covering this lore because I'm about my game tells me I'm like forty something percent of the way through it, 
and I don't really know what's going on other than I'm a penchant one and I kill stuff. You're a penitent one. Penitent. Yeah. yeah. That's the one, yeah. Penchant. I'm a, I'm yeah. a pensioner. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All I know is I'm a pensioner yeah. and a... Uh, Elderly I'm warrior. I'm mad pun- about everything these days. Unholy like, pension. Yeah, I got a pointy hat. I don't know what's yeah. going on. Yeah. Well, once you unlock the ability to post minion memes on Facebook... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> then the game really pops up. Yeah, yeah, then you can get the true ending. Yeah. <laughs> So first of all, um, I would I, I did want to acknowledge the fact that on previous episodes I did I did say that Blasphemous was a Souls like, and I know I just mentioned it before our little suburban tangent here. Yeah, it is not a Souls like. You also said Corpse Run. Yeah, Corpse Runs are just like uh, like in a, Dark Souls, recovering your souls. Yeah, but a Corpse yeah. Run. Uh, I don't know where the term comes from. A Corpse Run just means when you play a game and you die, you have to go back to where you died to get something back. Okay. World of Warcraft does it. Yeah. The, the Souls games you do it. You have to get everything back. The Surge, Neo, yeah. like a lot of those yeah. games have Corpse Runs. Hollow Knight. Yeah. yeah Hollow Knight has one, a Corpse Run. We actually have to kill it. This one, yeah. you d- in uh, Blasphemous, you don't actually lose your currency, though. You lose the maximum on your mana bar goes you, down yeah, until your, you your, find your body. Your mana goes down okay. and your yeah. mana generation goes down. Oh, is that uh, right? It's called fervor in this game. Right. Yeah. Uh, you generate fervor as you attack, uh, so it promotes aggression, kind of mm-hmm. like Bloodborne does. But in or Hollow Knight or in Hollow Knight, yes, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's like Soul exactly, yeah. 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 Um, but in Blasphemous, when you die, if you have a guilt fragment somewhere out in the world, your fervor generation is greatly reduced okay yeah and it's also your maximum is also reduced uh, a little bit more every single time you die i almost never use the spells maybe i'm a i'm a shitter player but like i like running up to people and like parrying and then getting these big hits off i don't really care much for the spells. the prayer that makes you attack faster is fucking bu- oh. is busted i haven't found that one. so fucking good it's okay. unbelievable yeah all right i'd have the one where you like pray and then like a beam of light comes down and it like shoots from your feet and it kind of just borders the walls and floor yes, around you. Yeah. So it's a 2D yeah. action game, so everything is obviously flat. So the that's kind of like the 2D equivalent of an AoE prayer where yeah, you slam your sword into the ground yeah. and like blue fire shoots out of it and will follow the line of where the terrain currently yeah, is and yeah. pretty much one shot anything it touches. No, it, it ticks. It goes tick tick tick. Yeah. Tuck. And if so you're encouraged to get the enemy on the corner of the screen because it'll kind of it'll get two extra ticks because it'll stop on the corner and of the screen. Larger uh, enemies uh, will yeah. take damage more through for, the entire yeah. time it is within their hitbox because as they well. have a bigger hitbox. Yeah, exactly, yes. as the video gamers say. Yeah. Um, the other thing that it completely, honestly, disqualifies it from being a Souls like there is no stamina bar. You can okay. attack forever, and yeah. your dodge is on a cooldown, like Hollow Knight. Like Hollow yeah. Knight. Exactly. The one thing that I like from Hollow Knight that they didn't do well in this game is a down slash ability. Like in Hollow Knight, you can pretty much pogo off of enemies yeah. and do these crazy combos. In this game, I feel like it's very side to side and up your attack, but like going there down. is a ground pound. It sucks. Uh, it does a lot of damage, but it's tricky to execute because you go straight down in a straight line and lose complete control of your character. And you, like, charge up in the air, too. It's like, ah, and then you go down. Yeah, you have to time it. Yeah. It's like when I'm playing Zero Suit Samus in Super Smash Brothers, and I down A, and I go right off the screen and just go, Yeah, (laughs) Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) I've done that with Captain (laughs) Falcon. Thankfully, the Penitent one also has the option to suicide in in Smash Bros. Um, When he gets added. Yeah. Yeah. I mean... You say that? Well, no, probably not. Uh, just the gory nature of this game. Yeah, I was gonna say. Very cool. um, you mentioned guilt shards is what your like soul. The guilt fragment. Guilt fragment. Yeah, and um, it's just like a thing that's left on the ground where you, you just go pick it up. It's like a. I like though that it's like your crystallized guilt from failing. Like pretty much, yeah. you failed the Lord kind of thing. You can yeah. pray to like these statues too to get rid of your guilt, and then you don't have to find all the million places you died. I actually the- had to do that during the second to last boss because yeah. she is bugged as fuck. Oh and yeah, my guilt fragment. Uh, now for the record, it's in the top right of the screen. The guilt yeah. fragment uh, is always locked to the ground, or is supposed to be, okay. meaning there is no lower part of that image. Uh, during the second to last boss, there was a bug that got me about three or four times where my guilt fragment was locked to the extreme top right of the screen. Okay. At which point, the top of it was completely cut off and off screen, and yeah. the bottom is just like unmapped texture because it's not supposed to not be on the ground. <laughs> yeah, okay. It's a small team that made this, right? It's Team 17 or something. Oh, well, like that? this is where we're at now, actually. Okay. Right. Good, good, good improv it. segue, Jamie. <laughs> Let's jump into it. Up high. Blasphemous was created by a Spanish studio, uh, The Game Kitchen. 
and is Game Kitchen. Yeah, exactly. And like Team Seventeen. It's they whenever I launch close. it on Switch, it might be the Switch port, yeah, but it, it says Team Seventeen or Team Number. Team actually. Seventeen is the publisher. Okay, yeah. there we go. Uh, most of its absolutely astounding artwork was influenced influenced, excuse me, by religious artwork, specifically from Seville in Spain. Nice. Uh, due to the references to our world, wor- real world religions, uh, this episode will weave in and out of both fake and real history, nice. because we will reference real people, Earth mythology, as well as mythology in blasphemous. Mm-hmm. I like those because that way, when I'm doing my real life stuff, I can kind of just tie it to video games and get yeah. an escape. You know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, so, in the land of Custodia, uh, which is written C V Stodia. Okay. Uh, very Roman. No fucking idea why. Roman exactly. Catholics. Yeah. Well, well, I, I guess so. That's, That's, they didn't have a U. It was the. Oh, it was a V. It was a V. Oh, Which also well, meant five. Because like yeah. it was chiseled into things. Yes. You couldn't. <laughs> it's you couldn't also really, five. You couldn't really do curved letters. Because with a chisel, they were chiseled into things. Mm, yeah. That's true. Yeah, so that's Custodia. Mm-hmm. That is. Uh, I mean, they could. They're lazy. <laughs> <laughs> you need to make them really big. Yeah. Rome's not we built in a day, but it might as well have been with the shortcuts they took. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Custodia is a deeply religious place, uh, comparable to early Europe. Um, and there was a young man so wrought with guilt that one day he went out and sat on a log and prayed to the high wills. Okay. Uh, those being Feral, Brimley, and Ampersand Grace. Okay. And Ampersand Grace. And and Grace. And and Grace. Okay. Exactly. The high, <laughs> the high wills. Uh, during his prayer, the log he sat on began to twist and grow around his body, absorbing parts of it. Uh, despite the insane amount of pain that he was in, he never complained, so the story goes. Wait, Very much like a penitent person. Wait, who's this? Sorry, I, I got lost in this the Ampersand. This is just a young man from Custodia. Okay, and Way he's sitting past. on a tree stump, and he's getting all growed into. He's guilty, and he sits on a log and okay. prays to Will and Grace. Is he guilty, oh. or does he feel guilty? Will and Grace? Is that a show? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Guess no one told you life was gonna be this way. <laughs> Friends. This is the theme song from Will and Grace. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, that's my favorite uh, party trick to do, is you sing that and see who claps. It was me. There's, there's always some white person that claps. Yeah. Damn at it. Any, at any party, there's always somebody that just has to clap. <laughs> nice. But yeah, he sat down. He was, he, he was wrought with It's guilt. like it's Pavlovian. Like it's, yeah. it's, a dog, it's a dog salivating over a bell. Like it's just... <laughs> <laughs> so he was just wrought with guilt. He goes out into the woods outside of Custodia, and he sits down on a log, prays to the high wills. And a tree grows into him. Uh, it starts to. Uh, it starts to absorb his body, and despite the huge amount of pain, like I said, uh, he never complained. This would become known as the miracle, or the grievous miracle, or whatever. It's Jesus. It, it's it's not <laughs> it's not their version of the Big Bang. It's not the creation of the universe because clearly Custodia existed Already prior to existed. this. But the miracle itself is the ultimate event in the history of Custodia. So proof, I- proof of God's intention. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly so masochistic though like it's just like well, this person getting all grown into yeah. taking the utmost pain but like staying stoic the whole time that's what that's what penitence is though penitence is like punishing yourself yeah to like prove your faith in god uh, and, and th- people will do it especially when they feel guilty or something and like flagellate themselves to prove like this is my devotion to god i know i sinned or i slipped yeah. up but i'm willing to make up for it through pain penitence will come back uh so actually okay. just hold that thought for a minute because there's a few references to it directly uh, yeah, you see, they're closed fist. I grabbed, it, the out. I grabbed it out of yeah. the hand. Yeah. Yeah. Audio medium. I had to. I had, I had to point out. <laughs> Ethan, stop whipping your back with that thought. <laughs> <laughs> Feel so good. <laughs> so eventually, this unknown man died, and the log grew around him sharply at first, but slowing over time. Uh, he be- it, it it became known as the knot of the three words, and the man believed to be in his side was now called the twisted one or the twisted father. Okay. Because originally, as the log grew up, uh, you see it around the game. He's not crucified because it's a straight rod of okay. wood going upwards, where he has his arms and legs pinned up, fused into different parts of the wood, okay. kind of as like as close as you could kind of bend a human being into being like a figure eight pattern. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Is the is the twisted father? Damn! If and if there's a twisted aunt, that'd be his twisted sister. Oh yeah, <laughs> we're not gonna, gonna take, take it. it. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> and that's what the guy said. And yeah. he became the Twisted Father. Yep. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, that's why it's the, the knot of the three words. <laughs> the, 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 la- the, the last words he said. He was like <laughs> sinning. Hmm, we're not going to take it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the story in game of the, the formation, I guess, of the Twisted Father and the knot of the three words is told to you in game by a man named Deo Gracias, who in game is much taller than the player character. Kind of a heavier fella carrying a large scroll. He is wearing a large green conical hat and has like a spiral braid of rope over his face so he can't see anything. Okay. Um, There's a witch in The Witcher 3 that has a like a spiral braid of basket yes, over her it, face. It, 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 so for her, it's it, I think it's like grains or, or wicker or something yeah. like that. But in it, it's very similar to that. But D- it, Just visually. Yeah. Deo Gracias has, it's a rope. I wish my Latin was better because I, I feel like Deo Gracias means like of grace. But... Uh, you mean old Italian? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so yeah. I once again referenced old Italian in this. <laughs> Good. I think Deo Gracias, uh, I didn't look this up. This is just, I just kind of wanted to a little bit of conjecture here. I think it means thanks to God or thanks for God. Grazie. In Deal. either Spanish, because the game is made in Spain and a lot of these things are in Spanish, or in Latin or Old Italian. Yeah. It would be his name. Old Italian, when you think about it, is also old French and old Spanish, though, right? Oh, yeah. They have a lot in common. <laughs> okay, oh, yeah, definitely, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, I know when we did some of the Japanese, like the Godzilla episode, where I was just like, I can't pronounce any of this shit yeah, properly. Yeah. I'm fairly certain we can all probably pronounce a lot of this so adequately, considering we do speak French, and yeah. Spanish, Italian, and French have a lot in common. Emperor of Rome, Emperor Julius... Kaiser? Kaiser, Kaiser. That was that's actually, oh, yeah. actually how it was pronounced. Caesar. Or, or Kaiser. Kaiser, yeah. Kaiser, yeah. Uh, yeah. Which is funny, because Fallout New Vegas, the writers made it like a joke where they, they recovered old history and didn't know how to properly pronounce it. But like most modern linguists agree that that's probably how it was pronounced back in ancient Rome. Well, oh, was okay. Kaiser interesting? Yeah, because the dude, I got my buns and my salads all mixed up now. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kaiser's Legion in New Vegas say "Awe true to Kaiser." Yeah, exactly. Whereas the NCR and the other factions call it Caesar's Legion. Yeah, yeah, interesting. A lot of good details there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think these guys at Obsidian are onto something. Yeah, I think that's a talented bunch. <laughs> anyway, back to. Uh, Back to here. Reality. Yeah. Whoopster goes gravity. Whoopster goes gravity. Uh, yeah. Around the Father, the miracles... Thanks to our Lord. There goes gravity. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> In Jazz's name, we pray. No, he's speaking in scat, like having one of those, like, yeah. <laughs> one of those moments. Wait, is scat old Italian? <laughs> yeah, it, 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 yeah, exactly. Julius Caesar's famous speech. Dio gracias. <laughs> Just like the actual scat man in a, a candlelit room. A <laughs> and, you know, and a guy in fucking robes, and, like taking this down. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, I was going to yeah, say, just like yeah. chiseling so fucking yeah, yeah. fast. I'll be blah, blah, so around the father, the father seemed to be okay with this uh, turning into this twisted tree. Mm-hmm. Um, the miracle seems to, however, manifested itself as some kind of disaster around him. Disaster. Because uh, in the town of Albero, a man named Terso tells the player character that the city is one of the last safe havens for people. Okay. So the grievous miracle itself had just, it was, it, it, it was, it was, it was a bad thing outside of, uh, I guess being fused into a log. The twisted father seemed pretty okay with it. What with you know not complaining. And it was called canonically. A, it was called a, called a miracle, but regarded as bad. It is the grievous miracle. Okay. Yeah. It's still a miracle. Yeah. Still. Well, I mean, a lot of it could be. I, I would think grievous because like it brought him so close to death. But I mean, it did kill him. Yeah. The twisted father did die within the okay. not of the three words. There you go. Uh, the reason that it good grew- grief. Uh, The reason that the tree grew around the Twisted Father and was called the Knot of the Three Words is believed because his last words were, my great guilt. Not, I want a rock. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) You want a log. (laughs) (laughs) Three words, then three braided tree trunks grew around him and kind of absorbed him. Okay. There Uh, is a guy you meet very early in the game who's grown into a tree in Blasphemous. Yes, there is. Okay. And that's not the same guy, right? That is not the Twisted Father. Okay. You do... Copycat. You do go to the knot of the three words in game but yeah. it's all tree at this point oh, okay yeah. uh, a knot is... is also one of those big lumps that grows out of the side of a tree that mm-hmm. i'm sure we've all seen yeah yeah 
It's like a tree tumor, kind of, isn't it? It's like an infection. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The wood's like a lot I mean, harder. And... You get them in wood. Like if you get a like a board of SPF or whatever. Um, sorry, but spruce pine fir. Yeah, well, <laughs> cheap it, cheap wood. It's a spiral. In you there, get yeah. like little knots. Yeah, and like you don't saw through them typically because they're they're much much harder. Is yeah. there wood in sunscreen? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. SPF that, 30. That's yeah. it's spruce pine fur. That's what they put okay, in the sunscreen. God. <laughs> I want to get from the sun. I want to get a tan. Just rub some sawdust on me. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> it's uh okay, so the sun is made out of fire, right? And yeah. what beats fire? Water. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, but the sun can light wood on fire if right. it's, you know, hot enough. Yes. Fire beats wood. But if you combine water with wood, you get sunscreen. Water and S- water and SPF. Dude, yeah, you Pokemon logic. I got it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, the entire world operates on Pokemon logic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Were, it, were it not for the fact that children not could, for. like, go out and have adventures, yeah. Pokemon would basically be a documentary. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but children no- are forbidden. <laughs> <laughs> the knot of the three words hits us pretty hard here in Quebec. Oop. Why? Drop my fucking Why phone. Here in it hits Quebec? us so hard it knocks Peter's phone yeah, right out of his hand. Yeah, it just like, slapped it out of my own hand. <laughs> uh, not just because French Catholics make up the majority of our people, but because every year the knot excretes a boiling gold liquid. Uh, Sap. Here we call it ciel d'érable, uh, yeah. and after cooling it, we will wrap it around a wooden stick and eat it. Mm-hmm. Uh, in Custodia, they rub it on their faces, where, as you would expect, so it boils their flesh off. So sticky. I've been having issues with dry skin on my nose. Maybe I'm putting too much tear de rable on it. Yeah, maybe you're yeah. putting too much boiled sap on it. Yeah, yeah that's, some of that boiling gold liquid is probably bad for your skin. You might want to cool it. Ah, well, well, I'm going to do this a couple more times. We'll yeah. see. All right. Yeah. So this we'll, is out we'll of back to you. This is yeah. out of the knot of three words. The knot of the so now now not only has this tree braided itself and killed this man, it now sweats a boiling gold liquid in blood. Okay. Yeah. It's fucking metal. It's. Wild, eh? You have to go get a thimble of sap for one of those tree guys. For the, the for for the tree guy, yeah, yeah. You, yeah. you can get it. Uh, oh, that's mo- so he can boil it and put it on to people's faces, I guess. Yeah, well, he dies too if you give it to him. Right, yeah. right, right. And then you can you can get a relic out of him. But the most holy relic to come out of this event was known as the Cradle of Affliction, uh, which is a grail filled with gold and blood that poured out of the twisted father as he was transformed and entombed within the knot of the three words. Followed by Norwegian screaming and blast beats. What's yeah. the yeah. name of that thing? <laughs> Jesus. Cradle of Affliction. The yeah. Cradle of Affliction, yeah. yeah. Cradle of Filth is an actual death corps band. Yeah, there we yeah. go. Yeah. But I think they're British, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. Yeah. I, took a, I took a guess. Yeah. Uh, grails are generally associated with Monty Python and the Crusades mm-hmm. in our actual history. Mm-hmm. Uh, also... Um, uh, Indiana Jones. Yeah, Hello. our Holy Grail is oh, the yeah. Last Crusade. To be the oh, I guess that's the Crusades. It's the Holy you know yeah, Pete. The, I'm sorry. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, the Holy Grail is believed to be the cup that Jesus drank from during the Last Supper, uh, which we would have referenced in our Alien episode. Or our Indiana Jones episode, if we ever did one. Or I uh, suppose we could. I yeah. would do a pretty good Indiana Jones. I don't know how much outside of the, the four movies lore there actually is. Are they doing a fifth one? I think they might be doing a fifth God, one. God, I hope not. Just I... let Harrison Ford fucking die. <laughs> I mean, I agree. Yeah. I have no interest in this Poor movie. Poor son of a bitch. He hasn't a looked one. happy in a film for the since the eighties. Yeah, right. <laughs> He's in um, not Gone Away Home. He's in a movie that just came out. A dog one. Yeah, Lonely Mountain or some I shit. can't watch uh, Call of the Wild. Dog. Call of the Wild. Can't watch those dog ones. There's always a really sad moment in them, and I cry. The dog almost dies. Oh, my and gosh. then the dog usually lives. Yeah. All right, except for yeah. I Am Legend. Spoilers for a 15-year-old movie. Yeah. Dog yeah. dies. And spoilers for Old Yeller. Spoilers for a 60-year-old movie. Yeah. The dog dies. Um, yeah. I, uh, I I saw I Am Legend at theaters. And, like, it was a, it was like a, an enjoyable movie. especially it's For fine. me, as, like, a 14-year-old kid, you know? Yeah. I was like, yeah, I enjoy this. Uh, but there, there's a scene where the dog dies, and it, it devastated me. Did uh, you weep searing tears of gold? Yeah, exactly. There you go. Uh, it burned on, my face. On brand. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then, like, I, I remember I was like, okay, well, yeah, I had no interest in watching it because the dog dying. And, like, years later, I was like, oh, this was a good movie. Why did I never yeah. watch this again? And I, like, threw it on. I was like, I was watching it. And then as soon as, like, the dog comes on screen, I'm like, oh, yeah, this is why I didn't. I just turned it off. <laughs> I never watched it. <laughs> so I've seen it once. I've seen it exactly one time. Yeah. Oh, my God. And I vividly remember the scene. It's a horrible scene. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, even as a man with two axolotls, a cat, and a guppy, uh, I still feel for the doggos. I think <laughs> of my dog's mortality way too often, and <laughs> I wish I could give 
my life force to an, another animal. They're, they're just so pure, you know? Yeah. I know, they're yeah. so innocent. Well, that's yeah. why... Uh, uh, so I went in specifically to get the most crippled axolotl at the pet shop. Because I want to take care of him and his gimpy yeah. little arm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, the Cradle of Affliction would eventually become the ultimate goal of the player character in the game itself, which oh. you may or may not reach. So you're playing as Indiana Jones. There are two characters. Yeah. Well, depending on your ending, you're either playing as Indiana Jones or one of the Nazis. Or one of the Nazis. <laughs> <laughs> was... Depending on your choices. <laughs> oh, man. I forgot he fought Nazis. Isn't that just He fights stupid. Nazis all the time. That's the whole thing. Oh, well, awesome. in, the four, in the fourth one, he fights the, the Reds. He throws one out yeah, of a well, plane. He's like boarding ticket and then throws them yeah, through yeah. the window of yeah. the plane. Like... <laughs> well, there's also the guy who gets like whipped into a prop. Yeah. And then he's like on the back of that tank. He's like, Nazis. I hate these guys. Yeah, yeah. And like, <laughs> I hate these guys. And like pins one guy to a track and he gets yeah. sucked into a Suck tank it, yeah, tread. Yeah. <laughs> Indiana Jones 2020 for president. <laughs> <laughs> Nazis. Fuck. I hate these guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a slogan I'd get behind. Yeah, yeah I, mean, I, I feel good, like it's one the world needs right that's now. That's a pretty good one. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, we're just like, a man you can trust. I'm like, yeah, whatever. It's kind of hey. generic. Hey. Nazis, I hate these guys. I hate these guys. Oh, well, that's, yeah. that really resonates with me. That's a tagline. Yeah. Yeah. I'm getting into this. I like Wolfenstein. <laughs> a lot, actually. Uh, so here in real life, uh, Big Dumb Losers and me uh, might carry a crucifix on their person. Mm -hmm. uh, in Custodia, uh, the Twisted Father is wrapped around the handle of the Sword of Guilt called the Mea Culpa, which is Latin. Yeah. Um, the thorns on the handle dig into the hands of the wielder as they slay their enemies, reminding them of their guilt. It is purposely made to be uncomfortable and not ergonomic. Yeah. yeah. I'm really much more of the comfort kind Mea of culpa. Yeah. Does that mean I'm sorry? I think that means I'm sorry. Oof, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. It's, I'm, what, I'm it's a, what you say when you flagellate yourself. It means I'm a culpa. Yeah, I'm sorry. Wouldn't you say that? Yeah. Me, me a culpa. Me, me a culpa. culpa. Yeah. Yeah. Me a culpa. <laughs> I'm cool. <laughs> <laughs> Mario just like <laughs> kneeling in his underpants, <laughs> whipping the shit out of himself. Yeah. <laughs> Is Mario actually the penitent in this Mario game? jumps a lot, but the inside of his shoes completely spine. Filled with yeah. thorns. Yeah. 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 <laughs> to remind him of his guilt. <laughs> 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 oh. Oh. <laughs> that might be some good artwork. <laughs> it's on brand. Uh, so the cradle now lies next to what is known as the Turned Throne, uh, which was once occupied by His Holiness Escribar. Um, I could not find a real saint or significant Catholic figure named Escribar. It's Pablo. Yeah, that's what I said. Pablo. That's Escobar. Yeah. Escrobar? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. S. Dot Escrow Crowbar. account. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, in game, you will kill his reborn form, and he changes from a normal sized man into the last son of the miracle, who is hundreds of feet tall. Okay. And I will get into more of that later on. Dude, did the, he fuck is... when he was a tree? Uh, no, so Escobar actually is not the twisted father. But he's a but son you... of the miracle, he said. I mean, Jesus was a miracle too, though. There's a lot of miracles. Huh? All children are miracles. Yeah. Okay, fair. <laughs> <laughs> All children are miracles. All children should be 100 feet tall. Yeah. yeah. I, I love... That's my, that's my presidential I, tagline. I loved Jamie's single guy laugh here where I said, All children are miracles. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well just be fucking sterile. <laughs> um... So, uh, I was going to ask if the Grievous Father, the Grievous Miracle was a tall guy, but you said uh, it's not his son, so never mind. No, the last son of the Miracle is something different. Uh, like I said, we're going to get into the lore of the bosses as well, so bear with me here. I'm setting up little little Catholic dominoes uh -huh. before knocking them down. Okay. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Knocking them down. And then lying about whether or not I lo knocked them down. Yeah, exactly. Or whatever. It was, it was the God. God yeah. did it. <laughs> uh, the uh, I, I set I set up a bunch of a bunch of dominoes in front of this fan and they just fell over by themselves. Yeah. <gasps> the miracle of gravity. What a <laughs> miracle! Uh, sometime after the miracle, a church called the Mother of Mothers was built. Uh, Escobar lived inside it and began to feel powerless compared to the miracle and the Twisted Father. He turned his throne away from his congregation, which is just the group of people who go to church for the uninformed. The congregation. If you go to church, you are part of the congregation. As, unless you're, you know, a nun or the priest. Yeah. Basically. Congregate is also a Flash game website that has a lot of good games you can play. It's spelled with a K. There, that's with though. a K. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Exactly. <laughs> and that's where we all go to pray to the the god of Flash games. Lord Macromedia. Lord Safarian. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> the Flash is dying soon, though, Ethan said at one point. Isn't it already I dead? think it died a while ago. Yeah. Well, 
Do an episode about fucking Flash, dude. Ooh, let's go. <laughs> Jamie's like, I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> Yoinks. <laughs> Runs out of the room. Unrelated. I need to leave. I, uh, I'm actually genuinely curious because I have a lot of achievement points on that website and I, I hope it's not all for naught. Why do you do a Macromedia Flash episode at some point? There's a lot of games that were made on it. So I think, games, I think yeah. when we say it's dead, I think it's just, it doesn't get support. It doesn't get updates anymore. Oh, no. Okay. You can so like if, you're, if your computer updates to a point where Flash breaks, then all Flash is broken forever. Uh, yeah. Then rip Flash. Yeah. Hollow Knight even has a Flash game that was its precursor to the actual game hungry night yeah check out our hollow night episode to find out more about that yep instead of being sad and fighting some sort of orange play you could eat apples at yeah the, it's so you cute remember, you at remember. the loreboys.com yeah feel free to leave a review while you're there please do although i don't think we have any kind of oh well, we have links yeah anyway you'll find it figure yeah. it out are you figure it out yeah you're, you're savvy you're you got smart. hands you yeah. can type it if you can't figure it out pray i don't know yeah <laughs> maybe <laughs> leave us a good review with the lord <laughs> 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 Dear Lord, I want to give all of the Lord Boys five stars. <laughs> oh, fuck, man. If that ends up being... If I, di- if I die and that ends up being more valuable than five stars on iTunes, I'm going to be really upset. Yeah. Can you imagine you go, we get to heaven and nobody else got in because they didn't get any reviews and prayers? <laughs> We're the only ones that go to heaven. We just do this forever. Uh, <laughs> it's just Steve Jobs up there, and he had the algorithm. Yeah, yeah. Exactly, exactly. Well, we'd have like 13 million episodes of the Lore Boys one day, yeah, just like yeah. for the rest of eternity. Yeah, yeah. Uh, start, we'd have to start doing lore about individual people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like on Earth. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just people who are in hell now because nobody yeah. gets into heaven. Yeah. Nobody gets to listen to the show because there's no Lore Boys in hell. Yeah. No, of course no. not. That would the make lore it too of, This would be a punishment. Yeah. Not for the anyone. Lore of Joe the Auto Technician. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He worked on cars. Worked on cars. Uh, and was crushed by cars. He drowned cats as a kid. Every uh, day. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah, that was, I wasn't going there. But, well, well maybe though. This is, uh, this is my, this is my lore. I came up with Joe the car mechanic. Yeah. That's our next, that's our, that's our next episode. Joe the car Joe mechanic. The car mechanic. <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, we're gonna have a guest on, and we're gonna. We're, she thinks we're gonna Some be talking about guy. something. Yeah. Uh, it's anger. She thinks we're gonna be talking about oh, something. Yeah, that's true. But we're gonna be talking about Joe the car mechanic instead. I, yeah. I think we all know what Joe sounds like too, right? He's like from New Jersey, and he. It, oh yeah, yeah I, that's how I. Everybody we talk about is from New it's Jersey. From New Jersey. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Fuck. I've we're never been to New to Jersey. It's the nexus of the universe. Uh, I've been through it. I haven't. Actually, no. The, when I went to New York as a child, we stayed in Jersey. Oh, there you go. Get anyway. the fuck out of here. It's pretty Brooklyn, but... Yeah, I know. I can't do it. I can't do it. Yeah, that's, that's almost racist. Hey, I'm walking in! That's almost, that's almost racist. In Jersey the, City! Jerseyites. Joits? Joysies? Joysieites? I don't know. Tweet at us. What, 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 what are people from New Jersey called? Uh, tweet at us. Other than loud and annoying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't we, we have fan know, mail touched, from someone from Jersey? <laughs> just a little, just roasting them. Tweet at us in the accent of someone from Jersey. Please. Phonetically, please, yeah. 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 Uh, Escrobar, uh, feeling powerless compared to the miracle and the father, turned his throne away from the congregation mm-hmm. because the main rule of religion is if you can't see it, then it's not there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? You guys suck, okay? This this whole church sucks. I'm going to sit over yeah. here. <laughs> I'm weaker than God. I don't like this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> this age was simply known as the age of the turned throne. Uh, Escobar was turned away for so long that eventually he grew branches and his skin turned to bark. And his blood turned into tasty, tasty sap, yep. which this Our Lady of Jemima not- would eventually <laughs> come to harvest. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah. Oh, Je- Aunt Jemima. Uh, Aunt Jemima <laughs> is a uh, corn. Thank you very much. Corn syrup. Yeah, Jemima is actually the second to last breakfast boss of the game. Uh, okay, yeah. <laughs> That's why. You fight the bottle. You do, you do end up fighting a maple syrup yeah. monster at the end. Yeah, you, yeah. Get, you do double damage if you hit the red cap. Yeah, yeah. well, that's the weak point. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> it's hard because you need to unlock double jump prior to that. That's, exactly. That's an optional yeah, yeah. room. So maple syrup, we we farm with like all those little taps and those wires that usually hoses. Yeah. Hoses, yeah. yeah. Well, it's it's like wires, but instead for electricity, it's for hollow liquid. hollow wires. <laughs> 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 wires with a hole in the yeah. middle. So for corn syrup, do you do the same thing to all those little corns? Yeah, you got a whole field of corn with one hose. Right <laughs> a tiny spout in each <laughs> kernel. <laughs> Uh, Tiny like thimbles hanging yeah, yeah, off yeah, of yeah, every yeah. kernel. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta tap them. Some people like the hobby farmers. They have little buckets underneath all the corn. Yeah, yeah. Oh, exactly. yeah. They yeah, can't course. afford they just, all the yeah. wires. They gotta right, so they, they, they walk. A, it's way too much of an operation. Really. That's it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I can only afford six stocks of corn. <laughs> <laughs> 
enough to get my family through the, the winter. Starter kits which comes with like a hundred tiny little buckets. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> for one one cob yeah, that yeah. you can grow in the window. <laughs> They're thimbles of sap, and you have yeah, to collect you thimbles go. of sap in the game, right? There you go. You do, yeah. yeah. Uh, eventually, uh, Escobar became a massive tree that was taller than the cathedral itself. Conveniently, uh, it's unknown how the tree caught fire, but boy howdy did it ever. Okay. Uh, this and part, this is Escobar the tree. This is Escobar, exactly. Uh, this part is written by the bishops who were working and alive at the time. Like, oh no, it, it was a miracle. Oops. <laughs> the, wi- the whiny guy got killed. Oh yeah. no. Yeah, the whiny guy who turned into a kilometer tall tree. Yeah. Oh no, he caught fire. Oh. Whiny is a good thing in... In Catholicism, isn't it? Though, isn't yeah. it the blood of Christ? Exactly. So, yeah. yeah. Yes. So much of my body, this guy. Yeah. <laughs> um, it burned for ninety days, despite heavy storms. The fires never stopped. The tree that was Escobar was so large that it buried the cathedral, the mother of mothers, in a mountain of ash. And at the top, all that were, remained was the turned throne and the cradle of affliction. Okay. Priests and pilgrims all tried to reach the throne and the cradle, but all of them were swallowed by the mountain of ash. Okay. Um, and this is where the tree once did. This is the tree that was Escobar that was conveniently set alight. Who knows how? Certainly not by disillusioned bishops. But the cradle of attrition was at the top of that tree? The cradle of affliction is next to the Turin throne. As the tree burned oh, okay. away and turned into the mountain of ash, at the top of the mountain, the only thing that is still there is the turned throne and next to it, the cradle of affliction. And you had said the cradle of Affic- affliction was a, uh, a result of... The first tree. It is a grail filled with the liquid that poured out of the of knot the, of the and three. And it fell words. out of the man. Exactly. So was it moved after that? Nope. Still there. The so this is all. I guess I'm, I'm wondering scale here because uh, I haven't played the game at all. Uh, right. Is the tree the grievous miracle like big? No, it's big tree. I'm like because I've been picturing like oh like a world tree from fantasy where like you right. like so the knot church the, is built on top of it and stuff. The knot of the three words itself you do see in game. Mm-hmm. It's probably the size of a telephone pole. Okay, it's just like a twisted. It's three braided tree trunks, mm-hmm. sweating boiling gold liquid, okay. and it's probably eighteen twenty feet tall. Okay, that's it. The tree that Escobar became was larger than the cathedral that he lived in and when it caught fire buried the entire cathedral except his throne and the grail itself in ash why does he get to be such a big tree well he's a bad dude maybe the miracle bad dudes make big trees maybe the miracle put that on a shirt i was gonna say that (laughs) (laughs) bad dudes make big trees that is a fucking episode title (laughs) bad dudes make big trees Jesus. We should, whatever happened to Bad Dudes Podcast? We used to be a sister podcast with them. Yeah. Along, I, I, they I, died I, in utero. I think, they, I think they ran out of time. They both have kids. Yeah, they oh, both man. have kids and lives and jobs and wives. I miss them. They're but, both married and both have children. That's true. Yeah, yeah. I miss them, but it kind of also makes me I feel still cool that we're still going yeah. for yeah. so yeah. long. But, yeah. Yeah. I hope they're still listening. I hope they are, too. Jer? I'm fairly, I'm fairly certain he is. Mm-hmm. Love you, Jer. Love you, Jeremy. Love you, Jeremy. I still talk to him as, as often as I can. <laughs> Good. Check in on Texas every here every yeah. every couple of weeks, you know. Don't yeah, there's two rules: don't mess with Texas. Check in on Texas. Yeah, and make, sure, <laughs> make sure Texas is okay. Yeah. If you want to be a streamer, <laughs> check in. That's another good T-shirt. <laughs> check in on <laughs> Texas. <laughs> I mean, seriously, bad though. dudes make big trees, man. Bad, bad dudes make big, big trees. trees. Yeah. It was a question, okay? <laughs> yeah, bad dudes make big trees. Apparently, okay, apparently. is is the truth. As His Holiness Escobar was consumed by the biggest tree. And then set a light. Dude, we uh, can start biggest, a landscaping company. Get some sunglasses. Those shirts. Show up at people's Bad house. Dudes. Yeah. <laughs> Bad dudes. We make big trees. TM, 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 TM. TM, TM. Yeah, Just yeah. That. Nobody fucking... <laughs> OC, do not steal. Yeah, because we, we don't steal our idea for a, a landscaping company that we're surely going to start up sometime <laughs> soon. Well, look, we, we, we took the plunge. We did our podcast. Yeah. Landscapings. Maybe the, the next, next one. Big, the next big thing. Podcast you remember, gateway. You remember podcasts in 2010? Like when it was just like the cusp? Landscaping is yeah. going to have its <laughs> boom in 2020, baby. <laughs> it's really going to take off. Yeah. God willing. Uh, yeah. God, amen. Yep. In Jazz's name, we pray. In Jazz's name, we scat. Now, while you had f- and, uh, priests and pilgrims tried to reach the throne in the cradle, but they were all swallowed by the mountain of ash. I don't know if I said that earlier, but it bears repeating just in case since we're a little uh, little, little hot today. Yeah. Hot on the mic. It's so beautiful outside today, by the way. It's like one of the first nice days. It's like three, four had. degrees. It's, it's, yeah. It's yeah. not that nice. Well, okay. Ethan came back from Nicaragua. <laughs> We've 
It's like the four, rest it's of like us. thirty five for our American listeners. Yeah, the rest yeah. of us have been in the Canadian winter tundra for this long, and it's yeah. sunny, and you it, can it, go it, outside with your coat. Yeah, open. for the record, it's three uh, thirty, and the sun is still up, and that's a big fucking yeah. deal right yeah. now. Honestly, I went out, and I thought it was a nice day too, and I just got back from thirty degree weather. So nice thirty degree paradise. Yeah. So, yep, beautiful day. Anyway, anyway, these pilgrims, these priests, there was a mountain of ash. Sink into the ash. Mm-hmm. Uh, while you would figure that sinking into a mountain of ash would kill you, you would be wrong in some capacity. Uh, well, what is next is not necessarily <clears throat> life. Uh, it is life in s- some capacity. Okay. Um, everyone who was consumed <laughs> by the mountain... Then the axolotls were created. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my babies! <laughs> uh, everyone who was consumed by the mountain was reborn, either as the hordes of the miracle or the punished. Um, Which one would you rather be? They hordes are- of the miracle. Yeah, yeah just like one. Just, just, <laughs> I, mean, I just want feels to, like a really easy answer. <laughs> I just want to you be, be one punished? of those guys. Or do you want to be it. one of the miracle? <laughs> I want to be one of those guys be who's carefully. like fifteen feet tall, wearing a big cracked bell on his head, and that just charges at you. Oh yeah, those guys are badass. You can just jump over them if you're barely. Yeah, yeah you have to be really, really close. You can dodge through them too, which is. Uh, you can dodge through them while they attack, but I, yeah. I, I found that while they're charging at you, yeah. you cannot. You will just bounce off the bell. Okay. Unless I just suck dick, then maybe that's yeah, the problem. Yeah, I thought I had, but I, I might have just been taking damage. It doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> they only wish to carry out the will of the miracle. The <laughs> Hollow Knight, you can't dash through enemies. So. You can eventually, you, once you get the Shadow Dash ability. You get an upgraded one. Oh, really? Yes, yes. and then you can also even put a badge on to damage people when you dash through them. Ooh. Damn, yeah. dude. Damn, I don't have that badge or that ability. You'll get it. It'll happen. Maybe. When you go to the Fog Canyon. Oh, okay. There you go. Or to get through the fog. Yeah, which you specifically the said you oh, were to avoiding. Get through those black barriers. <laughs> yes, yeah. exactly. That yeah. Makes sense. Among the risen, among the hordes, was Escrobar, reborn as the last son of the miracle. Uh, okay. Though his in-game model seems to indicate he is missing all of his skin or is horrifically burned. So he wasn't the last son of the miracle before, but now no. he's the last son of the miracle. He is okay. now known as this after being reborn out of the mountain of Ash. Okay, I, I had misunderstood. I thought, it, like, as a boy or as a priest or whatever, he was the last son of the miracle, no. but now in the miracle, I guess, was this mountain of Ash. Yeah, so the that mountain, makes sense, right? The mountain of Ash... Horde of the miracle, it produced this horde. The the mountain of Ash technically is es- Escrobar since he turned into that tree that burned down and then kind of... Re- he turned into that tree or did a tree go around him? And then reborn himself sort of thing? Reborn himself yeah, into so. Ash. <laughs> Happy born day. <laughs> like a log uh, from the ashes. This all takes place well before, like well in the past compared to when the game actually takes place. Okay. Um, and way before we get our chances to feel guilt. Okay. Right. Uh, finally, we can talk about the player who we... Uh, excuse me. I, I don't know why I wrote it like this. Uh, we can finally talk, uh, talk about the player who we as them will fight to try and reach the Cradle of Affliction. The Penitent One. The Penitent who One. you play. Exactly. Panchani One. Yeah. Uh, the Penitent One is an armored knight wielding the previously mentioned thorned mea culpa sword. Uh, the sword itself starts as actually just a hilt, but the blade can be forged from the heart of a guilty woman. Killing her in the process. Jesus Christ. So, in the opening... Yikes! <laughs> yes. Uh... In the opening cutscene of the game, um, a woman is kneeling and crying. She looks like the Virgin Mary, and she has only the hilt of a sword in her hands. How do you know what the Virgin Mary looks like? And is just, I met her. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh never mind. <laughs> I oh, saw her I follow on Instagram. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> exactly. I follow that door on Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she appeared to me in the static of my television set. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a woman kneeling and crying, and she has just the hilt of a sword, and she's kind of like pushing it up against her chest, and eventually it forms a blade and impales her. She then turns to stone. The penitent one... Pulls the awakens sword out of the stone and pulls the sword. He's out King of Arthur. Her stone Damn, body, dude. Yeah. This, in the opening cutscene, doesn't he also like fill his own helmet with blood and then put it onto his head? Yeah. Not in the first cutscene, but we will get to. I that. have. I've, I've seen that yeah. clip. Yeah, it was in like the demo when they first. <laughs> yeah, the first trailer or whatever. The penitent one's armor is made of silver and has a traditional red Catholic cincture around the waist. And he also carries a string of rosary beads. So the rosary mm. beads are like your perks, basically. It's passives. It's okay. like your badges. It's yeah, like your whatever, exactly. Yeah. yeah, it it's mods, basically. You, yeah. you you mod your Catholic with yeah. rosary beads. Do you want to run faster yeah. or do you want to hit harder? Yeah. <laughs> 
You've only your passery, your rosary bead string is only so long. Exactly. Only so I might be Catholic long. if I could carry a string of beads that gave me superpowers. To be honest, I mean, fair. Yeah. yeah. Fair. Some people believe it does. Well, I guess I would yeah. say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Good point. I would say they were wrong. Honestly, <laughs> good point, Peter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> who, who am I? Who am I to say? Uh, I'm just some geek on the internet. <laughs> uh, you've met the Virgin Mary. Kind of a big deal. Oh right, excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> she follows us on Instagram at Lore Boys Podcast. At Lore Boys yeah. Podcast. She's yeah. sometimes the first to like. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She's got me blocked on Twitter. Not the podcast, but my personal <laughs> just, Twitter. Just Ethan. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, his helmet is a silver capriote uh, with a spiral Ooh. of thorns going up towards the point to make it look like a drill bit. Uh, a capriote is a, c- a conical hood, like a cone, and is part of the uniform of some brotherhoods, including the Nazarenos and the Fariesos, during Easter observances or during Holy Week in Spain mm-hmm. and in San Luis Potosi in Mexico. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, Holy Week 2020 will be from April 5th to 12th. Capriote makes me hungry. Uh, I this might make you is, a, sounds like a really nice fish dish. Yeah, I huh. could eat a capriote. This might right make now. you guys a little less hungry. Uh, most of us would recognize the capriote as the hood worn by the KKK. Mm-hmm. Oof. Yeah. Uh, the clan seems to have adopted the capriote after the formation of the second clan in 1915. So, I obviously don't respect anything the KKK does. Their names for their officers, though, pretty cool. Kind of cool. Grand pretty wild. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Great dragon. <laughs> Yeah. If we had a patron that would pay us a million dollars, I would do the Lord of the Don't Clans. Don't they have like the nine huh. furies and think, stuff like that? I think I like I'd be fine. I'd be fine doing the Lord of the Clan. I know there's a like I'm pretty sure there's a couple dollops that have uh dollop being another podcast that yeah. does like actual real life American history. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they've they've tackled clan members at some point like interesting clan members. Uh I think it's a funny thing. I I'm not I wouldn't be averse to doing something like that cuz that's something like we, we make fun of the Catholic Church, and we have to apologize for it. I wouldn't apologize for making fun of the Ku Klux Klan, Fuck you know no. what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. A bunch of clowns. Obviously like, not, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, anyway, the, the clan where Capriate is currently. If we, had, if we had a Patreon member who paid us a million dollars a month, I would join the Ku Klux Klan. <laughs> <laughs> if that's really what they wanted. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. It's <laughs> a lot of money. It's <laughs> a lot of money. A million dollars. 12 million dollars a year? Come on. I mean, come on. I'm not made of stone. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Jesus. Those guys probably make pretty big trees too, right? <laughs> yeah, bad guys make big trees. Bad guys make real big trees, yeah. Yeah. and they set them on fire in people's lawns. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus, oh my god, I would not. Jazzes, thank you very Jazzes. much. Yeah. Um, oh we veered here. We veered. Oh yeah. Okay? I don't, yeah. In lighter news, uh, I never thought we would organically actually reconnect with Francesco Di Goya uh, on okay. air. Who is uh, that again? The right. title the, the title card for one of our Overwatch Saturn episodes devouring his son is called oh. Torbjorn Devor- devouring his Omnix, which right. references one of Goya's black paintings, Saturn devouring his son. Which it was his paintings. He never named them. They are untitled. Yeah. Correct. Yeah, uh, but, officially. Uh, so I, I, we must have talked about this. We talked about a lot about Goya on this podcast. Yeah, we have randomly enough. But yeah, yeah. we have a title card. Yeah, yeah. It's it's a fun little thing that somebody saw that picture and was like, "No, oh, that must be Saturn, the mythical Saturn." Devouring Kronos. Yeah, I'd say so. For sure. Yeah, it seems right. For sure. Yeah. Can't ask Goya because he went crazy and killed himself. Exactly. Or something. Something. Yeah. Most artists Def- definitely went crazy. Of the time, did. He painted all the walls at his house black and drew some really, or painted some really fucked up shit all over <laughs> it. Oh, yeah, he sure did. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyway, uh, the character design for the Penitent One is inspired by an earlier Goya piece, pre crazy, called A Procession of Flagellants from between 1912 and 18. Uh, 1812 and 1819 this is a crowd of people and three men wearing the pointed hoods whipping themselves and dragging a statue behind them okay and that is the procession of the flagellants honestly now now that you mention goya it makes a lot of sense like because the artwork in blasphemous is so like that period yeah uh, of art and like thinking of the black paintings like just the style of it like so much blood and such so much darkness like that really is the blasphemous theme yeah it's beautiful by the way like it it is kind of gory but it's eight bit art that is done very very well a lot of the enemies have like kill animations Mm. that you can get which are in some cases 
like three to five seconds long of you yeah. just like grabbing an enemy and stomping on their head multiple times until it explodes. There's <laughs> one like they have a, a guy has a shield and he like pops out from behind the shield and hits you every once in a while. Yeah, and you can parry the blow and then basically just like step one foot onto his shield and crush him, and then the blood just like gushes out yeah. from underneath it. It's it's brutal. The really? flagellants, the, there are flagellants as an enemy in game, which are these dudes with these red hoods who run up to you and try and whip you with these two tiny whips. The kill animation for them is just, like, grabbing them by the top of their head and hacking their head off of their body. But it takes, like, five hits. And then you just, like, the body drops down. You throws the head on the ground. He just, like, stomps on it and explodes. God, oh God. damn. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Whips is a really funny dual wield weapon in my mind. I don't know why. It's just like, a whip. Yeah. Running around like, whip, 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 whip. <laughs> two, two, I'm gonna whip you. <laughs> <laughs> two cat o' nine tails. Ooh, does that sting? I bet it does. Ho, ho, I'm the whipper. <laughs> the penitent one is a member of the Brotherhood of Silent Sorrow. Which is a group of men who have taken a vow of silence as a reflection on the silence of God. Okay, well, a little on the nose there, don't you think? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, the Brotherhood. But God speaks in many ways. Oh, yeah, exactly. Uh, Not good enough for these guys, apparently. Yeah, clearly. Time to stomp on some shields and crush people underneath them. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, it's what God would want. Yeah. <laughs> he hasn't told me he's been silent for a long time, but. It's what God would want. I haven't said much recently, and neither is he. So I'm just gonna start. Uh, I'm gonna start stomping some fools. Yeah. I think. Sounds uh, fair. The Brotherhood seems to have fallen out of favor with Escobar at some point. This is post um, rising from his own ashes. Okay, yeah. So this is crazy. This is child burnt, last burnt, son of the miracle. Yeah, last son of the miracle. Crazy burnt faced es- Escobar. Mm-hmm. Um, because all of the Brotherhood have been killed except the player character. And while leaving the ruins of the uh, of, of their fortress, um, you must kill the Warden of Silent Sorrow, who is a huge man wearing an iron mask. Uh, after the fight, the Penitent One takes off his helmet, that's his um, capriote, mm-hmm. uh, fills it with the blood of the Warden, and then puts it back onto his head. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah it's one way. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> uh, this does nothing. Uh, it seems to be some sort of weird ritual that is unexplained because you don't do it to any of the other bosses. Did Just... you Did you check if there's any like Catholic reference there? No. no. Uh, bathing in the blood of your enemies. Uh, not big with priests. Sounds distinctly uncatholic. Yeah, it seems seems a little, at the same time a little pagan. When you look at the Crusades. Yeah. Pretty uncatholic. Yeah, it's, when ways. you have a pointy hat and like you're traveling a lot, it tends to kind of flop over. Mm. So if you coat you need the, the blood to hold it up, blood <laughs> oh, it'll it's, harden. It's starch. And, yeah, yeah, it's all the starch in your blood. Say, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the starch in your blood. <laughs> yeah, it's from all those tiny, tiny breads. Yeah, yeah. from yeah. all those those tiny corn, cor, those uh, corn thimbles that you're eating. Of course. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All the corn, all the corn liquor that you drink yeah, yeah. <laughs> in church. Is there corn liquor? Is that a thing? I'm sure. Yeah, uh, there is corn liquor. What is it called? Mm-hmm. Corn uh, liquor. Is it just me or am I corned up? <laughs> <laughs> After the fight, the penitent one take, uh, fills his helmet with blood, and the warden. Sorry, excuse me. Uh, then the penitent one runs into Deo Gracias, who we mentioned earlier. He's the guy who kind of just like gives you. He gives you lore within the game. He's he's like our he's he's our employee within Blast. He's our like little na- narrator. Uh, yeah, he's, um, people sorry, compare I'm him sorry, to Tingle I'm, a lot from yeah, okay. Wind Waker because he does look like from Wind Waker and Majora's Mask, and yeah. he's been in a couple of. He games. looks a lot like if Tingle. Tingle. He's from had Zelda. been painted by Zelda. Francesco de Goya, basically. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. I should have said Curacorn. That, that's corn liquor. Corn. Oh, that's corn liquor. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, yeah. After drinking it, finding a way around is just a maze. Yeah. <laughs> oh, very good. Very good. Very Ooh. Okay. Uh, it turns it turns your tongue yellow instead of. That was very good. <laughs> no, it, <wasn't. laughs> it was so good. I decided not to laugh, but instead. Talk no, like no. I'm, I was just I was just impressed. That was that was a powerful dad pun. <laughs> that was good. I, I like it, Peter. I used to get booze. Now I get I get compliments. No, no I, I, that was, well, we're I, talking about booze. So. I appreciate. Oh that. yeah. yeah I, hey. <laughs> The pun loop's getting too crazy now. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. At some point, we're just all just going to collapse into the center of the room, and yeah. just, like, my entire building is just going to get pulled into the earth. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We'll all be laying on the floor. You might as well call us Matt. Uh, <laughs> shut up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Boo! Booze! Booze! Boo! Yeah. Uh, words. Kick me out into a pile of leaves and call me Russell. <laughs> <laughs> Deo Gracias yeah. tells the penitent yeah. one to, to complete his pilgrimage, he must suffer the three humiliations. Yes. Uh, this involves killing five people, 
within the mother of mothers. Uh, which is the big church. Which is the big church, exactly. Uh, one is called Ten Piedad, uh, or Piedad. Which, oh, he's a boss. Which translates to have mercy. Yep, exactly. He's, he's one of the bosses. Probably one of the first you will fight. To my knowledge, you can fight them in a different order, the first three. Um, yeah, I've found two of them. I can't find the third one right now, and that's where I'm at. Who, so. did, who did you fight? Oh, man, it's been a little while. Okay. It's been a couple, a month and a half. As you say, them all now. Yeah. yeah. I fought Daddy Jesus. I fought oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy God. And... Yeah. So Ten Piedad was once a normal human haunted by visions of the miracle. And one day, all of the night terrors finally caught up with him, and he passed out in the arms of a statue. Uh, when he woke up, he found that he had been transformed into a huge monster of constant anger and pain. Like a hangover. Okay, yeah. I've been there. Yeah. Too much corn liquor. Too much corn too, liquor. Way too much corn liquor. <laughs> You're lost yeah. in that maze. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you encounter him, the monster is asleep in the, in the arms of the statue and is a direct reference to the Pieta by Michelangelo, which is a statue of Jesus Christ dead in the arms of his mother. Okay. Yeah. Uh, he, the Ten Piedad, wakes up when you enter the room, tears the head off the statue, and smashes it into the ground. He's like, oh shit, I'm Jesus, I'm so mad. Ah! Yeah, because uh, <laughs> dab, 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 we edgy now. Okay, So yeah, yeah. he tears the head off the Virgin Mary statue. Whoa. I mean, uh, it's a very edgy game. Oh, yeah. For as as pretty as it is, it's very uh, critical yeah, of Catholicism, let's yeah. say. It's like, yeah. it, if, it's like if the, the edgy atheist you knew in high school was also phenomenally talented. Yeah. And managed to put all his thoughts together yeah. for like one second Which to, is, to get um, a design doc out. You probably nailed the head developer. Like with that one, like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> probably yeah. that is number one with a bullet right there. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> While asleep, however, ten pi uh, like this is ten pi dad. The man trapped inside the monster wakes up in the monster's dreams. So when he sleeps, he's awake. And he's, when he's awake. He sleeps. He's kind of. He's probably like cast as the teacher when ten pi dad shows up for a test without pants on. Okay, yeah, 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 sort, yeah. Of, sort of thing. It's Freddy Krueger. Oh, there you go. No wonder the guy's mad all the time. He's just got like yeah. an annoying, whiny Freddy Krueger who can't kill him, but really bothers him every time he tries to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we also need to kill Our Lady of the Charred Visage. Uh, she is said to be a once gorgeous woman who poured burning oil all over her face. The in burning response. sap. Gotcha. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, she half her face is completely burned in game, and the other half is still covered in the golden fluid. Okay. And she has a big chunk of exposed brain, which is her weak point. I've killed her. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. The Our Lady of the Ch- Charred Visage is a great fight. Yeah. Um, in response to people continuously worshipping her as a symbol of divinity, she burned herself with the holy oil. Um, she was then canonized as a saint, so dress for the job you want. Yeah. Huh. Burn your face off. Yeah. What the fuck? Dress for the job you want. Just do it. Just burn your face off, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> um, many Catholic women in actual history who have become saints were burned or decapitated uh, throughout their careers. Basically, okay. um, she's gonna. We're gonna kill her anyways. We might as well get a sword made at the same time, so we don't have to. Kill another lady <laughs> yeah, <later>. right. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't have. Uh, I wouldn't have thought that real life. Uh, Catholics would have sainted any women, but I guess was Mother Teresa sainted? Maybe I, she's a... kind of modern, though. I'm talking about in the yeah in the before times. Yeah, I'm, I was yeah. thinking. Yeah, I was thinking like there wouldn't they wouldn't have ever sainted a woman, but there, you, now you're saying like there are real life I, women saints, and it's just something that I never considered. So when I was doing my research for this one for the comparison, I found like a top twenty list of like canonized women who top had top twenty had been hottest executed. top twenty hottest female saints. Yeah, like, basically, yeah. <laughs> We got Mary 10. Jugs Magdalene over here. <laughs> Barry Bugs? 15. Yeah, I would do Barry Bugs Bad Balloon. <laughs> <laughs> what would be burst? Then boiling pot boil on boar base. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. Uh, so below, below a huge buried bell called Jondo or Yondo. It's never spoken out loud, but it starts with a J. Hondo. Yeah. Hondo, maybe? Yondo. Exactly. Or Hondu, Juan Valdez. Juan, yeah, there you go. Yeah, who's that? Juan Do. Makes coffee. <laughs> what? <laughs> really? It's like a, a, a coffee company mascot. <laughs> it's a, stereo, a stereotype of like Central America. <laughs> anyway, but I guess it's we probably, don't have to linger on it. It probably, it probably is Hondo. Um, you need to fight the Tres Anguistias, or the Three Sorrows in English. Yes, uh, these are three women wearing black capriotes and black dresses. 
Uh, some parts of the game suggest that these uh, these three are ghosts representing the three women at, who were all sisters who were then fused together into Altas Gracias. Okay. Altas Gracias is a gigantic woman who hatches from the egg of deformity. <laughs> The which height women of, come from eggs. The yeah. height of sorrow. <laughs> a huge egg made entirely of knotted black hair. Uh, it hatches when three gifts are donated to it. The black grieving veil, torn bridal ribbon, and the melted gold coins. Okay. Uh, the fusion is only about 80% complete, though, as the faces of the three women can still be seen on the head, and they share parts of their mouths with each other. So they're all kind of stretched across one skull. You only need one toothbrush. Yeah. <laughs> well, like a toothbrush and a half, really. <laughs> depending depending on the gums yeah, yeah. of each face, right? You might need. She she only has two arms. It was like uh, it was like it's like it, it's basically like she was fused during like a nice fall afternoon where she's only zipped up to like the collar. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she's comfortable. Everything looks pretty much fine otherwise, except for the faces, which are all stretched across one skull. Okay. Um, one face looks uh like it is in constant horrible screaming pain. One looks brain dead, and one looks more or less all right, which is presumably the one that you speak to when you speak to Altus Gracias. Which one do you guys want to be? The brain sp- dead. Oh, I wanted brain dead. Got dibs on brain God dead. damn it. I'll take the one that's fine. You, uh, you get horrible screaming agony. pain again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're getting towards the end of the boss lore here, and um, I'm not going to cover all of them because I don't want spoilers. Uh, Peter, this is some pretty boss lore. There, it's pretty fucking boss, eh? <laughs> Because um, there's a DLC coming out that may contain more characters, and I don't want to risk spoilers. One for something that I haven't played because it's not out, and for listeners out there as well. Uh, so after killing the three humiliations, we can move on to some other bosses. There is Exposito, Scion of Abjuration, uh, who is a massive baby boy held up in the arms of a wicker statue that represents his mother, who was burned at the stake. Um, you don't actually fight the baby, but there's like Good. this weird yeah. wooden serpent thing with a man's face stretched over it okay that you fight it has a stinger as well and it spits acid okay uh exposito can kill you he's the only boss in the game with a one hit kill move but okay. you do not attack the baby directly despite the fact he's like 40 feet tall um he wears so exposito the baby can kill you yes but you don't fight the baby correct you imagine fight those some diapers kind of say weird... catherine <laughs> 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 you fight some weird snake thing <laughs> with a with a human face on it okay you know yeah. it's totally normal Horrible things. Yeah, the snake and there's snakes. There's snakes in the Bible. The Garden of Eden. Yep. Had a uh, snake. Uh, Noah's Ark. Probably had two snakes. I should hope so. Yeah. No, all snakes. That'd are be boys. responsible. Uh, all snakes are boys. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. Lizards are. They girls. Yeah. They, they had none of that on the on the Noah's Ark. Let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> none of that funny business. Thank you very much. <laughs> How do snakes actually? How do snakes great. fuck? Yeah. So okay, pause the podcast. We got <laughs> we gotta on, Google this. I actually know. Get a herpetologist on the line here. I actually know. Um, Peter knows a lot about reptiles, and it's weird. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, snakes have fairly short tails. Surprisingly, okay. uh, the separation between the tail and the body of the animal, vulva, is the butthole. Uh, and they wrap their tails together and mush their cloacas together, and the male Ew. ejaculates directly into the female, <laughs> and then she gets. Impregnated and lays a uh, clutch of horrid snake eggs. <laughs> hey, baby, want to mush cloacas? Hey, hey baby, want to rub your cloaca up against my cloaca? <laughs> mm? Mm? What cloaca. would a snake Tinder profile even look like? I'm a girl, even sliding though my cloaca into... looks the same as yours. Yep. Yeah, probably. A lot of sliding into DMs for sure. Oh. oh yeah. Slithering yeah. into DMs. Yeah. Right? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Would they be able to swipe because they're cold blooded? Do you think a snake could use a touch screen? Oh my god! I don't. Let's get one. Um, yeah, <laughs> I have enough weird shit in my room already. Yeah. Let's get a snake and a touch screen here. Okay. Yeah, quickly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Exposito, the baby, uh, wears a crown of thorns and is blindfolded due to him constantly weeping blood, which he apparently started doing upon watching his mother be, be burned, burned alive. Thing. I gotcha, I gotcha. Oh, By yeah, this weird the... wicker snake man, I assume. Yeah. Uh, Exposito yeah. is a term for orphaned children without known parents in Spain. Okay. So you could have an orphan whose parents died, if you know who they are. And that's uh, an orphan. Uh, an anonymous orphan is an Exposito. Hey, kid, where are your parents? I don't know. I'm an Exposito. Basically. <laughs> that, was yeah. a, that was a Jersey accent. Exposito. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> Exposito is a term for an anonymous orphan in New Jersey. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Uh, finally, I want to talk about Mel, Mel- 
Quaides, the exhumed archbishop. Okay. This is the last boss we're going to cover, cover here. Uh, he appears as a huge skeleton being held up and carried by the arms of at least seven men. Uh, he's reclining. Visually, he is, on ba- number. he is based on the catacomb saints because yeah. there's 14 arms holding him up. Seven armed men. But yeah. The but- arms of seven men. So there's just three men on one side and four men on another They're side? They're all underneath him. Oh, yeah. they all hold it like straight up. He's reclined. He's reclining. I was, okay, yeah, I was thinking like a, like a palanquin or something. No, yeah. the reason for this is he is based on the catacomb saints, uh, which were bodies exhumed from the catacombs of Rome and dressed up all fancy with gold and jewels. And much like in the game, the catacomb saints are often set up in ref- reclining comfy positions for Could some fucking reason. Could you imagine digging up an old body and putting a bunch of gold on it and like walking uh, it and around? And then making it look physically comfortable as That's well. Cr- like, what the fuck is the point? Craziness. <laughs> I, I, I often wonder what... You're dead, but doesn't mean it can't be fabulous. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And comfortable. Because yeah. yeah. right? they're often set up in reclining positions i oh, saw oh you look so stiff honey come on let's yeah. go let's, let's get you up i saw one that someone had dressed up wildly fancy and and kind of put in this little amphitheater shaped thing mm-hmm. and it's like lying down with one hand on its cheek <laughs> and like lying in the opposite direction like it wants to talk on a corded phone about <laughs> voice <laughs> it's, it just it just looks like hey but it, it's like it, one uh, one foot up yeah, in the air, well, like was, bent at the knee. Yeah, the, the fucking thing was set up in like the year four hundred, but it literally looks like it's an eighties girl who yeah, wants, yeah. who wants to gossip about boys. Something's never changed. Some, exactly. I will I will say, oh uh, humans are very predictable. In Madagascar, they do. Uh, there's a ceremony. I'm not gonna remember what it's called now, but uh, they do a ceremony where people will dig up the recently dead, like two three year, years old. They're, and they sing, "I like to move it, move it." Yeah. Uh, <laughs> They, they dig up their, their like, relatives that have passed recently, um, and they have, like, a big party, and they all dance with them. And they're, like, wrapped bodies. They're not, in, like, oh, they're like, coffins mummies? or caskets. They're not, like, mummies, but it's, like, more like a cocoon, okay. I guess. Uh, but you can see pictures of, like, people, like, gathered into tight spaces and just, like, a bunch of these, like, corpses wrapped up on everybody's shoulders and they just like dance and bump around so I and if you, if you feeling. if you have a dream yeah during like, the, i was gonna say exactly that. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you have a if you have a dream during the year that uh you have a dr- you dream of that relative telling you that they're cold then you'll dig them up during the ceremony and they'll be included in it or whatever oh. huh hmm. so yeah i think that our current society definitely like shies away from death a lot like we don't talk about it we don't like people who are sick we, we tend to avoid them a yeah. lot of people like uh unless you're really really close with them and i think that's kind of fucked up but at the same time i don't know if i want to be parading corpses yeah that's it maybe polar yeah. opposites or at least find a middle ground yeah, you know? yeah exactly yeah. Yeah. maybe bring them to the party maybe don't you know dance with them uh, <laughs> I, I don't i don't fucking i don't fucking know it's like baby steps just yeah bury them with a blanket i don't know They're you know like, what yeah. <laughs> Put some jewels on them and put them in a comfy spot. Actually, yeah, this, yeah, this, right. this, this is the middle ground. The Catholic yeah. Church had it all yeah. along. Yeah, actually, the Catholics got it right the first time. We just like make them look comfy, and then uh, and then make them make them look fancy. Make them look comfy. Yeah. That's like, the, the two things that like all people need. You know, what? I'm all on life board. needs really. Yeah. yeah, I'm on board now. <laughs> um, the name Melquiades, which I guarantee I am pronouncing incorrectly. Melquiades. Mel. Kiades, maybe? Milk Kiades? daddies. Uh, milk daddies. <laughs> milk daddies is actually the name of the 32nd Pope. Okay. Who was in office from 311 to 314, or whatever the fuck you call. Is it in office? I, yeah, that's the thing. I don't know. Eh. He was... Uh, uh, in c- church. CEO. <laughs> the CEO Christ- of the Vatican. Christian executive <laughs> Mr. officer. Mr. Vatican. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Mr. the Vatican. <laughs> milk Kiades. He was only in office from 311 to 314 uh, A.D., Okay. And during his term, Christians were given legal status within the Roman Empire. So he's actually a big deal for Christians because Christianity was illegal. Uh, it yeah. made you lion food for a big chunk of history. Yeah. Wow. Um, and from what my what I know about uh, American history is that Donald Trump is currently the forty fifth Pope of the United States. Okay. Got from you, what I understand. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. I'm from. I'm. We're Canadian. We don't know everything about that. But he. No. Uh, there have been 17 popes between Melchior, Melchiades, and Donald Trump. Okay. Gotcha. 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 All right. We <laughs> get through that. That's, that's about right. <laughs> yeah. Sending three thousand years, eh, give or take 1700 70, years. 1700 years. Yeah. That sounds yeah. about right. <laughs> 17 guys. Yeah, yeah. Each guy lives a thousand years. Whatever. A uh, hundred, but. Oh yeah, excuse me. <laughs> Each guy lives a thousand years. Uh, it's least. like I lose my ability to do any kind of functional math. You said seventeen hundred, yeah, and you said seventeen, and you're like 
That must be a thousand. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> Um, another interesting detail about the character model of Melquiades is he crosses the first two fingers on his right hand throughout the boss fight. Today... Oh, it takes... The, uh, no, take these back. These. Exactly. <laughs> uh, today, the gesture is typically symbolizes invoking luck or that you're lying if you put those fingers behind your back. However, in the early ages of Catholicism, it was used to invoke the power of Christ and protection from evil. It's like a cross, I guess, eh? It's, like the, closest, a really it's the closest thing you Crossing your fingers, yeah. yeah. Um, and like Making I said earlier, symbol of the cross. my fingers definitely feel more powerful whenever they're in the Do you feel protected from evil right now? Dude, I, you, you could deliver a stronger poke. Oh. I will agree, yeah. You'd, yeah, with with two pads. Oh, into, you'd fuck, you'd yeah. fuck someone and up. All yeah. of us, you kind of like well, you just, flex you have your a bracing, thumb. You have a bracing finger. Yeah, you got to flex your thumb. It kind of looks like a gun. I was going to say, it looks like a cowboy <laughs> gun. Yeah. <laughs> We're all in, in studio making finger guns, <laughs> looking at our hands. Don't forget to check in on Texas. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That would be the image uh, on the shirt. Yeah. <laughs> a finger pistol. Yeah, but the fingers crossed for some reason. Yeah. No one would know why. <laughs> no one would know why if you bought a shirt, if, if Loreboy shirts existed, and God willing, one day they will, no one would ever send a fucking thing that you would ever see. I think we have two great shirts on this episode. Yeah, we I sure think we do. should start making shirts now. Yeah. Because a shirt that just says two rules, don't mess with Texas, check in on Texas, and a little cross finger gun <laughs> is a phenomenal shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I'll work on it. I'll, I'll like I. W- I promise you, I will work on it. I uh, I resigned from my office job, yeah. saved up some money, gonna chase my dreams. I'll start making some fucking shirts. Let's bad do dudes make big trees. Bad dudes make big Put trees. Put that on a cob of corn. Put that on, on a, a piece, piece of corn. corn. Piece of corn. And now that we're making corn liquor. I'm yeah, making... frick. Yeah. Frick. So yeah, there's a couple. <laughs> There's a couple other bosses like Curse uh, in in game, but I don't know who's going to be important in the DLC. Like I said, so that is the end of our Blasphemous episode. That's all nice. we're going to talk about. That's not the end of Blasphemous. That's not uh, Peter. Would you say this is the end of all religion now that we're ending our podcast? I would say so. We because solved religion. We, yeah, we got to the bottom of it, if you will. You know, <laughs> yeah. we, there's nothing. Le- there's no depths left to be plumbed. No, I would say so. Not until religion DLC comes out. Then we'll cover the the new bosses. Religion two, yeah, religion, yeah, religion two, <laughs> the second coming. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking right, it was right there. It was yeah. right there. Yeah. <laughs> so was from center court, you were just like Jamie. Yeah, <laughs> and he was like, got it. Uh, like uh, Fisher, Fisher Price baskets. Uh, I was pulling up the emails on my phone. Yeah. Didn't even need my full attention. Uh, yeah. Yes, as a reminder yeah. to our wonderful listeners, um, we are still taking suggestions for what to call the fan mail section. Currently, the front runners, the three options we have going are the lore bag, folklore, and the lore board. Lore board. Lore board sounds like I'm going to stumble. Lore boy's lore board here. Yeah. I really, so that lore board, I believe, Wait, we don't need to talk about this on here. By Darnell on no. Discord, which you can join. Yeah. I like it. Get uh, up our Discord. So send us, send us suggestions. Send us t-shirt suggestions. Yeah. Funny stuff that we said that we don't remember, because we won't remember the funny things that we said on this episode. <laughs> and said we were going to make shirts out of it. We won't remember it. Yeah, so. exactly. Uh, it's, it's just like a picture of corn with like a confused looking person on it. It's like, yeah. I, it's just like the state of Texas, but sideways. Yeah. Like, yeah <laughs> that sounds, that yeah. sounds like us. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> but we do have something on the lore board. Yeah, if you do want to spend time and talk to us like one-on-one and stuff like hop in the discord we chat with all the people who are in there um pretty much every day now yeah pretty much every day i'm always on every day my I- phone broke the day i got to nicaragua so i don't i didn't have access to discord for two weeks yeah. but when i get a new phone i'll be back on Discord. it's so good now that ethan's gone like you should yeah, really no, get it's, it it's like there's a lot less racial epithets and it's <laughs> really it's like con- it's chill it's he's chill not vibes, asking anybody you know? for a million dollars yeah. he's just like uh, just a well, million bucks i'll do it low I, low fi- lo-fi quality uh, hip-hop yeah. chill vibes to, to <laughs> do homework too i need discord for work too so i like obviously always have it open and i love chatting with you guys so Add us up on that Discord. It is in the About section. Uh, I do have an email from one of our, uh, who I called a super fan the last time, and I think he appreciated that, uh, Stephen uh, from New Jersey. Loreboyspodcast at gmail.com if you want to be as cool or yeah. possibly cooler than Stephen. Unknown. Yeah. Yep. So uh, the, the title is, Fuck Yeah! <laughs> and then he starts <laughs> up, all caps, What up, Loreboys? Exclamation, like, intero bang, intero bang, intero bang. Like, okay. he's, he's really, <laughs> in fact, uh, not... Emphatic. Emph- emphatic, but also inquisitive. Inquisitive, yeah, exactly. So uh, he says, okay, sorry. He always starts so sorry. Don't apologize, yeah, Steven. Exactly. We love to hear from you. <laughs> yeah, I'm just very happy uh, that I'm a super fan in your eyes. Anyways, I beat Bioshock, and I'm playing Bioshock 2. But Hell I'm yeah, ca- dude. Kind of upset with 2, because after I beat 1, I was like, fuck yeah, I get to be Big Daddy and kick ass. 
But as I'm playing, I'm taking more damage and almost dying more as Big Daddy as than when I played Jack. Uh, James, keep doing WoW if that's what you love, man. Oh, I love to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, Stephen, stop. That is all the value. Don't encourage him. Bring a lunatic. <laughs> Kill us all. Uh, he has never played WoW and most likely never will, but he loves hearing the lore and the raids and how excited I am about them. So I guess that's what I'm selling is is how yeah. the lore and how I'm excited rather than them needing to. If you're, if you're a listener and you like World of Warcraft, join yeah. the Discord. Jamie will quit his guild and we'll start a new oh. Lore Boys guild. I'm oh, officer. yeah. Yeah. Actually, I have another another server that I'm working on a character, so I'll I'll do it there. Can okay, you... Jamie, this is not a World of Warcraft episode. Okay, oh, can we move it along, <laughs> please? Jesus Christ again! Oh, he's bringing this up. Oh my God. Man, like, yeah. All you guys keep up the f- great funny work. It helps and makes my work nights go by faster. This was sent at three thirteen a.m., so I guess uh, Stephen was at work. Super. Yeah, but who knows what times are New Jersey's then? Yeah, and we just had <laughs> we just had leap forward uh, time last night. Daylight taping time. Daylight <laughs> time. I don't know. Oh boy, <laughs> we did have the dirt day today. Dirt yeah. day. Yeah. Jamie really needed that one hour of sleep. Apparently, oh, <laughs> I, I was all messed up this morning. He wasn't asleep when it happened. So no, oh, yeah. I wasn't. I was yeah. awake. Yeah. I, I watched it roll over, and I was like, I better play some Sea of Thieves because I gotta get to bed soon. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, um, super it's no ma- fair. It's two in the morning, then suddenly it's three in the morning. It's bullshit. Yeah, it went exactly. one three. <laughs> fuck you, fuck you, Mister Trudeau. You can't steal my hour. That's mine. I worked hard for that hour. <laughs> what the fuck does it happen on a on a weekend? I know what a bastard, eh? Like, yeah, fucking uh, liberals. Am I right? B- baloney. Bal- <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> what else is going on here? Uh, Superman's dumb friend. Oh, hey. And then last time I mentioned, I was like, oh, he must have been drunk because he would like message us all caps in the middle of the night. But as we know, I think he works night shifts. And he says, so P.S. I don't drink. I'm just that kind of hyper crazy person. Kiss you face. Kiss you face. Oh, <laughs> to yeah. be fair. Uh, oh, w- we assumed he was drunk, and I think that's totally fair, considering we do get emails late at night when he's mm-hmm. at work. Or on break, I hope. Uh, you know? A super quick email also from uh, Carrie Reynolds at brogers12 at gmail.com. Oh, yeah, this. Uh, it looks like you misspelled the word millennia on your website. Fuck. I, I always like forget the second N. <laughs> yeah. That was me. It was me. It was me. Yeah, he's calling, she's calling you out. Silly mistakes can ruin your site's credibility. <laughs> I've used a tool called spellscan.com in the past to keep mistakes off my website, Carrie. Thanks, fucking Carrie. Well, you know, Carrie. if the vampire Carrie... choking, choking himself while masturbating didn't ruin the quality, <laughs> <laughs> the credibility of our website, the t- typos probably were. Or, 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 yeah, or the domain pornhubcaps.com oh, yeah. didn't, ruin, uh, didn't ruin us in the, in the eyes of Google. The butt uh, naked picture of Kirby checking himself yeah. out in the mirror. Yeah. Or that crystal falling into uh, the, 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 the demon guy from Diablo's butt. Yeah. yeah. And that picture of Peter butt ass naked. Oh yeah, you gotta go find it though. Yeah, go, it's, go look around. It's, it's go, there somewhere. Just go click uh, cross links in our on our webpage if for like mash, a, fifteen minutes today. It, it, do if, us a favor. If you mash tab, you'll get that little dotted square around things you can click on. Mm-hmm. That's how you find it. There's a white link off in one of the corners, <laughs> and there's the butt naked picture of me. Yep, eating uh, a thin crust pizza. Yep. I didn't know that hack. Yeah, uh, if you want it, if you want us to read your your messages on air, send us an email or leave us a review. We like to read them both. We like to hear them both. Yes. Uh, any any ones we don't share, it's because we find them a little too racy. And you guys do send some <laughs> racy stuff. Uh, it's a little bit, of, a couple of nudes. Actually, yeah. <laughs> that hasn't happened yet. So don't don't be afraid. Get don't, racy. Yeah, don't shy away. Yeah, yeah. send James Pete fix. He, he's all Pete about fix. it. Oh, Pete fix. Pete fix. <laughs> Pete fix. Pete fix. Sorry. Come on down. <laughs> <laughs> is your name Pete? Well, get your fix, Pete. Pete fix. So that Pete's fix. I can get my fix. Uh, uh, so I'm three tall boys deep, and uh, this has been the Lore Boys. You can find me at Ethan the Dead Man on Twitter. Dude, I am so naming a character in a game Pete Fix. That is so good. <laughs> that is a really good name. You're you're, you're welcome. Yeah. I oh guess. My God. All right. You can find me. Uh, I'll just balls. change my fucking Twitter name after this is done to Pete Fix. <laughs> Pete Fix. Yeah. Uh, if you want to check out Pete Fix on Twitter, it's at Pete O'Donohue or Lore Boys Podcast or at Lore Boys Podcast on Instagram, theloreboys.com. Check out our title cards. Um, and one more shout out for posterity. Check out the other worlds. Uh, yeah. Tyler's a wonderful guy. He did an interview with us a couple of, a couple of weeks ago. It's a podcast. Ago. It's not to be confused with the Outer Worlds or Outer Wilds. They're both games that came out in the last year. Yeah, the exactly. Other Worlds is a podcast. But if you die right? during the podcast, you do have to restart the entire thing. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's so it. it's still it's yes. a roguelike podcast. Yeah. <laughs> uh, dump intelligence at the start of the podcast. 
That's what I would say. I would. Right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You don't need. You don't need. It's, where we're going, you don't need brains. It's, yeah, it's a, dumb, <laughs> it's a dumb stat, and you unlock the bonus, uh, like dumb. The dumb response. Yeah, the dumb responses. Yeah. So, when you, when you dialogue when you, options. You set your intelligence to one. You can send us emails at three in the morning. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Man, taking digs at. at at our New Jersey folk. No, today. we love. I, take, love I, think he, yeah. I think he could take it. He seems to get us. He, yeah. uh, he is our number one super fan. He, he does Bay sign off as Superman's dumb friend. So, and he yeah. does give us nice kisses. Yeah, he gives us his... two kisses, but there's three boys. Oh, sh- we'll find out one next week. Tips. Fuck. Uh, I'll, I'll take the eternal pain. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes. When we fuse yeah. together, the screaming agony will be Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> All um, right. Uh, you. It, Get on the Discord if you want to talk to me. That's where I am most of the time. And also on the Facebook. Um, you can find that information on lowerboys.com. And uh, that's been a lore episode. We have a Patreon, but honestly, who cares about the middleman? Loreboys Prime. Ethan, I understand you were in Nicaragua, mm-hmm. and you found something truly prime in uh, Central America, on that a, volcano island. I mean, there's a lot of Catholics uh, in, in Nicaragua, in Central America in general. Yeah. Um, Though they're not naturally occurring in Nicaragua, they do uh, seem to get along just fine there. Yeah, well, yeah, they've been naturally occurring since, I don't know, Cortez, I guess. Uh, but, I, but I was down there, uh, and they have been collecting a lot of heretic blood. Uh, so there is a limit on how much you can bring back before uh, you know duty hits you. But I did manage to get 200 liters of heretic blood back. Whoa. So uh, the first uh, 50 people to send us their clan hoods or uh, caprioles? Caprioles. Uh, yeah. Fuck me. Now that I've said it, yeah. I've fucked you. Now yeah. that I've said the wrong thing, I've fucked you up. So Capriote. You can't Capriote. It is Capriote, yeah. Capriote. Uh, the first 50 people to send us either their clan hoods or their Capriotes. Uh, we will fill them with blood so you can put them on at home. Uh, and uh, if you wouldn't mind, like, sticking, like, a nice review or a bit of money in the Capriote hood, yeah. uh, we'd really appreciate it. Uh, We're getting literal blood money? Yeah. Uh, if you're going to yeah, give up... Yeah, I guess so. I guess technically. Yeah. If you're going to give up your clan hood as well, uh, maybe don't go get another one. Maybe think about it now that you're down a hood. Yeah. Try a different path as but, well. Yep. I mean, I wasn't going to tell them that we're just not going to send the clan hoods back, but... Yeah, we're not yeah. going to do that. No, yeah. No. But do send them to us. Yeah. Yeah, we'll take care of them. We'll... We'll do something with yeah, them. We'll bury them. <laughs> big fucking tree will grow out of them. <laughs> <laughs> a, bi- a big, big, tree. big fucking a tree. A big tree. <laughs> <laughs> and that constitutes, constitutes a lore boy. Lore boy. A lore boy's loud. Out. Out. The bosses that I'm going to talk about, yeah. you probably have fought despite having not yeah. finished it. I'm not worried about spoilers because the game is just fun. Jesus and... dies. Oh, well, he does that in real life too. So I don't. Yeah, I don't know enough. About he dies and then he comes and... back. That's yeah. he does come back. Wait, right? but there's three of them. There's the Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and the God, or something. Yeah. There's a baby. The, the failure. The, I've seen majors. Okay, Trinity. wait, wait. I've seen majors. There's ice. There's old water ice. and mist. There's hay. There's a donkey. Sometimes a goat. There's usually a manger itself. Manger. Is Jesus the goat? The greatest of all time? Dab, 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 dab. Should we lease him? Jesus vapes and dabs. <laughs> <laughs> I vaped for your sins. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well yeah it's 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 like it's vape would be part of the holy trinity because That's the holy ghost yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> <Holy Ghost. Yeah. laughs> i'll keep this uh but let's check what, let's see what we sound like this.